September 3rd, 2000 XX. 2000 men died in this town. Half of them were raped, a quarter of them were abused by feminists, and the rest had their souls taken away. It was only six years ago that this was a bustling beach town with 3,000 inhabitants. Today, it's a bustling beach town, if not more prosperous than before. However, that is not the point. Over 500 troops struggled to storm these beaches to maintain one objective. That's right, one single objective. In their wake, they met with heavy resistance and suffered incalculable casualties that perhaps took up half of the landing forces. It was an event known to the locals as Three Shubis on the Beach, or what is known internationally as the Labor Day Beach Wars. It has been nearly five years since the attack began, and no one knows why. Despite being fairly recent, local memory serves ineffective as the present day residents fail to pay attention to the event. Nearly forgotten in history, we here at Retarded Reports attempt to retell the tale using first-hand accounts, lost footage, and highly advanced interviewing unparalleled in human history. Join us today as we embark on this remarkable journey to understand and reveal the truth of one of humanity's forgotten heroisms and triumphs. It was a summer day. The flies in the boat were buzzing around our heads as the stench of the sea fills our nostrils. I was part of Alpha Sigma Sierra team when we got casted off into battle. I couldn't recall just what the hell I was doing on that boat, but I do know I didn't sign up for this shit. Someone must have knocked me out, enlisting me in this godforsaken army, marine, whatever the fuck it was. Whatever, I thought. At least I didn't have to do any training before I go. The military heads rushed everybody. The only team that was able to even get any training there was the Lone Survivor one, the Special Force one, and the Beta Males. Not one of them made it out alive, and the only teams that did were the ones that just went on the boat and did no training. That's how you know our military is the fucking bomb. No seriously, it was. A bomb that doesn't detonate like it's supposed to, like the piece of shit it is. No wonder we lost. But it was a miracle that we won that day. I'll never forget it. John Johnson, September 4th, 20XX. We were able to talk to several locals and vets of the historic event that suspiciously look and sound identical to each other the best we could, but not without great difficulty. Okay. We're done. I said, what the f*** is your bro? We took several interviews of the conflict that night because we were morons and put everything into the last minute. It was insanely risky and many of our men got hurt during the process of collecting this footage. Some were lucky to even make it out alive. So, what was uh, what, what was life back? What, were, what was life back then for you before the war? Very simple. I used to be a school teacher back in my days. I used to get the kids off the street. I used to teach them boxing in my gym. Yeah, just to see yourself. All right. What made you? What What made you wanna? Did you sign up for? No, I was at a way for this. Oh, that's sad. Um, like fuck the government. Fuck this. Fuck this war. <laughs> And they dragged my ass out there and I had to fight. Did you know what was going on with the politics of the era that led to the war ultimately? Nope. Nope, not at all? Nope. <laughs> Why is that? I don't give a shit about the war. Or the politics. So were you you were a teacher, what about when you were uh oh, younger? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Okay. That's alright. Um so what do you remember about the war? Was this like a digest sergeant? Oh, tell tell us more. You guys a piece of shit. His neck he got a small dick. <laughs> How'd you know he had a small dick? Did he hear drunk last night? He thought I was sucked this bitch. <laughs> that's very How do I do it? <laughs> that's very unfortunate. Um Oh my god, it's going on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, okay, what'd you do? I went the camera on my face. No! Come back! Come back! We paid you for doing this! No! Okay, <laughs> <laughs> Get that fucker! <laughs> no one knows of what were the causes of the conflict, but all we know is that a bunch of angry women started calling out attacks on the radio, and that pissed some people off. People around them 
started hiring some mercenaries and pseudo-government agencies to take men and use them to forcibly make those women shut up. And thus began the conflict. So, was this, what was your first day at war like? Where were you? Were you here? Or were you somewhere else? Most of your case? Damn. Did you feel seasick? No. 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 You're used to that. Were you a sailor? No. No, you just, you just didn't get sick? No. So what was it like when you got out? Were you ready to go or were you scared? No. Stupid question, but yeah. I'm sure I would be scared. Machine gun fire and mortars and artillery are hitting at me from left and right. All my buddies are getting shot up. Did you see... You mind me asking. Um, <laughs> Well, a lot, did a lot of your buddies die on that on that day, on that beach? No, nah, just me and my sergeant. No. Just me and my sergeant. All of them was left. Did he, did he survive? What I said earlier, he did. Yeah. How'd you feel when he died? It must have hurt you bad. You guys were like, together. I didn't want to kill him. How'd you, how'd you kill him? Dark. Dark, dark very dark. Um, so, uh, oh, <laughs> get that motherfucker. Yo, yo, get back, get back. What are you doing? I'm <laughs> doing an interview. The planning for the battle came under the administration of General Knowledge, as he knew the battle the best. Knowing that there will be insane casualties, he, he decided that there was no other alternative to go with other than use idiots to take the beach so that no actual intelligence and resourcefulness could go to waste at the cost of human life. He believed that they should go straight into the gunfire and shoot everyone in the face as the main strategy of taking the beaches. Also, don't forget flamethrowers, because those are also useful, he thought. Killing several guerrilla filmmakers in the process, trying to get their hands on this footage, we managed to save them from any political taint they gave it. And in the end, we are proud to give you the full-fledged, I promise to God, unbiased documentary you see before you. Here, are all, here is all the unedited footage of the battle historians were able to find. Third time you need to control yourself. We're almost done with the interview, all right? Don't leave us. What's your right now? Nah, 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 nah. Just, no, 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 no. Now he's no, part no. of the crew. No, yeah, no, no, no. Don't no, 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 get the kill off me. Get him, get him. Come back here, stop. <laughs> I can never forget the horror and fear I felt that day. The anger and hate I felt not only towards my enemy, but also my own comrades fighting alongside me. Like, how can you fucking get angry at some douchebags that are just as confused and inexperienced as you are? They are practically all brothers. But then again, brothers always fight each other. But I couldn't forget the heroism and bravery I saw that day when I went. There were men I didn't believe that could be like that when they pushed themselves. Like, golly gee, that's what war does to you. It was amazing. On the other hand, comrade, my comrade, to the left of me was a piece of shit. He never paid attention to what was going on. He always got in the way. Heck, he even sacrificed me, me, in front of a grenade instead of himself. Like, what the fuck was that? It's like they just hired people off the street to fight with us. Mitchell and Joe, September 3rd, 20XX. I understand you're trying. You're covering from your PTSD, from the uh, the the effect. The <laughs> Whoa! Break up! Break up! Break up! <laughs> look, I look, look, look. I understand PTSD has a tremendous effect, and your your your. Shh, shh, settle down. Settle down. Everything will be all right. But just answer these few questions for the documentary, if you don't mind. 
All right. It's been five years since you. You have to give Arma a tastemaker. <laughs> what the? <laughs> okay, we're gonna have to call security. This is this is <laughs> okay. We managed to get as far as the 50th block past the beach. That's like 60 meters from the shore. I don't know. But it was as far as we could go. As far as we could go. <laughs> we annihilated those fembots and bad guys shooting at us. We bombed the pillboxes slash houses and burnt them alive with flamethrowers. Even though flamethrowers are banned at the Geneva Conventions or something. Can't say I didn't miss those sex slaves though. Poor bastards. Got burned alive in the process. Like, we didn't see them coming. It's like they thought we were saviors. But nah, we were soldiers. I also like that movie, by the way. Very good. George Carlin, September 5th, 20XX. Answer like two questions and then then we'll be good. All right, two questions. All right, don't don't look at him. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me, please. Come on, two more questions. This is for History Channel. All right, all we do is upload bullshit about World War II. We gotta do something different. All right. This is a very important event to history, and I can barely see you in the camera. Hold up a second. Oh jeez. Uh, I don't know how to fix this. Uh, camera guy, can you uh. Undo this. Why is this all messed up? Oh, I don't remember much. I was kind of drunk. But I did remember that we won because I saw the CEO and the battalion commander, as well as some generals on the beach among the wreckage and stench of maggot infested, sea salted, fishy bodies of our dead brothers, fermented by heat and the winds of time. Duckman, September 5th, 20XX. I remember when I just came to the beach, everyone was way ahead of me. Like they were like up on the streets of the the place we were supposed to invade. And uh, all I saw was a general on the beach. The general, thinking I was some survivor or something, talked to me like I was some sort of hero going through gunfire. The gunfire that my brothers went through before me. No, 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 I told the general. I didn't do that, uh, they did. But then he said to me, and there was no time for humility, and, I, and that he wanted me to come with him personally so he could buy me a drink. Damn, I felt like a dickhead. General knowledge, speaking to corporal punishment.
know we've been through a lot right now. I know we lost a lot of guys back in that beach. But hey, we're almost there. Alright? Just keep yourself together, alright? You hear me? Get, keep, fucking look at me. Look at me right now. Come on, don't fucking lose your focus. Alright? Gotta keep it together. Think about your children back home. Think about, think about your daughter. Alright, she's coming up soon, right? Yeah. Just, just, just stay focused. We're almost there. Alright, we got the fuck off the beach. Everyone around us is counting on us. And we have to make sure we carry on the mission. Alright, Charlie Mike. But, what we should do now. See, see, the, see those houses over there? They got machine guns, machine guns all over those windows. Firing right at us. Oh, so what we need to do is jump down on that trench. That trench right there. Or a actually, we're, we're going over this, 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 this fence. All right, what we do, we're jumping in the trenches, all right? Try not to get shot. And then on my signal, after I throw the smoke, we go. All right, we go in, run fast, don't think about anything. We're fucking going right in. We're gonna storm those houses. All right, room by room. Got me? All right. <laughs> Yeah. You good? Alright. See this? What is that? <laughs> <laughs> Smoke grenade. We're gonna throw that over, all right? Pop smoke, and then once the smoke's like high enough, all right, we're gonna go in there. General Dodge and Major Mayhem, upon getting the landing forces on the beach, forcibly moved them up so they could celebrate while the soldiers kept shooting at the bad guys. All the 12 angry women were in one house and did not move in protest. Knowing this, the military forces just bombed and shelled the hell out of them until it was all over. The reason they had a landing force in the first place was to make the operation look legit. And General Dodge thought this was the best option for everybody around. Through September 2nd to September 6th, 2000XX, the conflict began and ended. And when the 100th block was seized by the invading forces, all fighting ceased. The sex trafficking and drug bombs discovered in military outposts by the bad guys were discovered a day later after the conflict. All the soldiers went straight home. Yup, they just went straight home in their own personal vehicles because they just said, fuck the war, because this was not a war, this was a shit show. Generals and officers wanted to give them medals, but no one wanted to sit through waiting in an award ceremony to receive such things for hours. They are now the unsung heroes in the annals of history. In total, throughout the conflict, the casualties resulted in 2,000 men dead, 50 women giving birth. Not on location, different locations. It was just a coincidence in timing. There were 500 men that stormed the beach that day. Only four sixths of them survived. Half of them died. The rest were raped or sold to human trafficking. Two children would go home crying because their sandcastles were annihilated by the landing forces and sand mortars. Five parents complained and then got shot by sand bullets. One Paris sailor landed on a pine tree near the road and broke his legs, changed his gender in the middle of the Battle of Josh's house, got a sex change quick, and then died a man. 12 million ants were stepped on or blown up by sand mortars. All the camera crew died except one. He got his legs blown up by sand borders. The amount of casualties, miseries, and lost lives were nothing short of horrible, but the actions of all men, except the bad guys because no one cares about them, showed an incredible demonstration of human sacrifice at its finest. If I catch you laughing at this horrible human tragedy, you are going to regret it, and it's not April Fool's Day. All POWs are executed because the army couldn't afford to spend the finite resources on bad guys, so fuck them. And you didn't hear that from me because that never happened, according to the federal news. Because if you did, we would all be in trouble 
and we shouldn't be. So if I catch you going out there giving out sensitive government information, shh, I'm going to shh, 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 shut, the, shut the fuck up. Oh man. shit! Oh. Right, right, right. In the end, was the war worth it all? The lives, the resources, the time. Time has been taking too long to tell. So we, as a good race, should say it's worth. Surely, the amount of casualties was horrific. But do the ends justify the means? The town ended up being prosperous for unknown reasons. And we got to make this documentary and got attention for once in our lives. So, yeah, in my opinion, yes. But it's still debatable. How would the effects of this war affect the future? Will there be repercussions? The amount of unique men and women who, that died in those days will not be recovered. But out of the conflict, we made better men and women. Does the power of the military have an influence on today's current issues? Perhaps it might happen again. Maybe worse. I mean, look at World War II. The smash hit sequel to the global box office smash that is World War I. That got a sequel. But perhaps I said this exact contradiction to highlight the human inevitability of repeating history as most history cliches and realities go. Did I think it would go that deep, did you? Well, you didn't think enough. This has been Retarded Reports on the Labor Day Beach Wars. Brought to you by the History Channel and Arby's. Tune in next week where we discuss the ethics of snorting chocolate mix. Because we are part of History Channel after all. <laughs>